Okay. Uh, welcome back to Story Retold. Kalina here. We're playing the third case in Internet Court. I'm really excited about this game. My work is done for the day, so I get to start playing. It's a gorgeous day outside. I should be playing outside, but this game is calling my name. Case number three. No regrets. Uh, the weakest I'm ink. not proud of how I messed up at the contrived cliffhanger trial. I normally don't make mistakes like that. I guess I wasn't completely over getting banned from fanfiction writing. Afterwards, I felt guilty about how I treated Vic, so I helped him get a job in internet court. I didn't know he was going to become a prosecutor and compete against me. If I had, I might not have passed along his resume. Not that he has any chance of beating me, of course. He's kind of a loser. Like, last time was just a fluke. My second trial against him was two weeks later. This time, the case centered around an online ad. My client was, uh, questionable, but she promised to pay well, so I decided to take her case. Hmm. Internet court. Stream starting soon. I don't, honestly, I don't understand why. <laughs> Me neither. So ridiculous. Uh, okay, we're started. We're being broadcast live over the internet now. What? But the judge and I weren't finished talking about our tattoos. Uh, you, you do have to stop having interesting conversations before we begin broadcasting. Save the good <laughs> uh, stuff for our viewers! Right? Okay, okay. Right? Let's get started. Yeah, okay, I, uh, hereby commence the trial of Cormac Sands versus Emily Take. Uh, Emily is being accused of, uh, Posting fraudulent advertisements online, providing an unsafe work environment, and, uh, bad grammar? Again? <laughs> That's right, Your Honor. I went to her for a tattoo and she spelled it wrong. It was a typo. Give my client a break. It's a tattoo. I have it etched on my body now. Just look. <laughs> the, the tattoo looks fine to me. A little gaudy, but if that's your style. My wife's name isn't Katie. It's Janie. Oh, well, uh, the the K kind of looks like a J, if you squint. Exactly, Your Honor. Cormac is just being a little whiner. My tattoos are perfect. You just said tattoos? Tattoos? Have you done a lot of these before? Um, no, that was my first one. Mm. But I have done face painting before, and that's basically the same thing. Mm, no. Oh, okay. Uh, if you never done tattoos before, how do we know that your business is legitimate? Your Honor, I have evidence to prove that Miss Take's tattoo business is on the up and up. It's... It's legitimate, okay, um... I don't really know! She might have this? I've got pictures of her face painting, and they're super cute! This one looks like a bunny! Oh, show me. I want to see. That's <laughs> not relevant to the case. Judge, give her a strike. Ugh. I award you a strike for promising cute bunny pictures and then not following through. Oh, that's not fair. Let me try again. I could prove the business is legitimate with... Oh, so I got a strike. Okay. The original advertisement? I have the original advertisement that Miss Take posted online. It's the same advertisement that Cormac saw before deciding to go to her. It's a stock photo? Wow, cheap tattoos. I'm Emily, comma, 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 and I'm an amateur tattooist. Amateur is not spelled right. I don't, missing apostrophe, I don't have any training in tattoos or drawing, and you know, we, what, what? I'm style learning, that's why I'm an amateur. I got the equipment from my, I can't even read any of this. <laughs> Who is a perfect- there's so many bad grammar mistakes on here. This is where the grammar police should come in. Oh my goodness, who would go for this? As you can see, your honor, this ad is, um, totally legit. Objection! That advertisement is riddled with poor grammar! Mm-hmm. Uh, is it? I'm not so sure. Uh, Seriously, Judge? Do you need me to spell it out for you? 
you want your objection to stand, then yes. Uh, okay. Uh, defense, help me out here. You, you brought this evidence to court. Point out some of the more obvious spelling errors, won't you? Fine. Well, okay, there's like a million on here. Oh, I can't choose the... Okay. Well, amateur. Good. That's one. Oh, I'm glad we get to mark all of these. Any? Good, that's two. Can you give me one more? I'll give you something. <laughs> Cousin. There, that's three misspelled words. I'm pretty sure there aren't any others. Oh, no, there are. There are many others. So I forgot to put my at their spell check first. Sue me. Uh, yeah. I am suing you. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, I'm uh, definitely convinced that when those words are spelled bad, spelled, spelled badly, spelled spelled ungoodly, Aww. whatever, objection sustained. Let's uh, proceed with... Sorry, I'm not done yet. This ad has more than just bad spelling. It also has bad grammar. <gasps> yes, that's definitely something I'm prepared to deal with. Let uh -huh. me just get my grammar book. Over here, ready to go. Let me add it. Let me add it. Well, oh, I want snacks. Well, I'm, I'm sure the defense would be more than happy to point out three instances of misused punctuation in the advertisement. I would. This is payback for making you point out all those contradictions last trial, isn't it? Yep, I learned from that trial. That's why I'm so super prepared this time. <laughs> okay, fine. Here are three places where the punctuation is wrong. Okay, there's Good. one. That's one. Uh, this. That's two. One more. Easy. I want to go through all of them. Well, I mean, there's um, a space missing here. Excellent. Those are three different punctuation errors. More exist, obviously, but I don't believe we have time to go through yeah. it. Otherwise, we'd be spending all day here talking about Oxford commas. Mm hmm. <laughs> there are rare commas? Can we please move on now? <gasps> yes, of course. I think we've sufficiently proven that the defendant, Miss Take, needs to be put into a remedial English class immediately. Yeah, good, good call. Yeah. Okay, whatever. The judge seems bored with the prosecution. This looks like a good chance for me to step in and score points in my favor. Don't sleep in a plastic hey, Cormac, bag. I've got a question for you. Ooh. If you thought the ad was so suspicious, why did you answer it? Well, to be honest, I didn't think it was all that suspicious. See, the plaintiff doesn't take issue with the advertisement. What? How could you think it's not suspicious? She's doing tattoos from her kitchen! And she says she has no experience or training. Objection! It clearly says in the ad itself that she's an amateur tattoo artist. She was upfront about it. I think we should cut her some slack. Mm, I gotta say, I'm, I'm torn both ways. Are those also, Cool Ranch Doritos? No, I'm out of here. So, we'll tell you what. The prosecution has a point about the advertisement's bad grammar. The defense has a point about the ad not being bad enough to warrant suspicion. We should call this one a tie. Yes! Come on, Judge! That advertisement should be raising all sorts of red flags. It's clearly a scam. Mm. It is not a scam. I gave him a tattoo, just like he asked me to. Exactly. It would be a scam if she took his money and ran. But instead, she gave him the tattoo, as promised. It is not as promised, and I've got evidence to prove it. Evidence? Cormac, please, let me handle this. The prosecution wishes to call an expert artist to the stand. His name is... Uh, firework Firework Poop 100 OK. <laughs> it's Hugh! <laughs> um, art? Happy, okay, happy art. Uh, what's with the emojis? Mr. O.K. believes that human words are too imprecise and leave too much to interpretation. He prefers to communicate via emoji. I, wow. Right? We can't take testimony through emoji. How are we supposed to know what he's saying? Uh, well, he's angry now. Wave. Yo. 
now crying a lot. Oh, you don't understand that? Um, he says that you've made him angry and that he's going to slap you so hard oh. uh, that you'll cry. Okay. And earlier he said that he's happy to be here and that he's an artist. Okay, got it. Oh, doggo. How did you get all that from just a few pictures? Are we really going to have to give you a remedial lesson on emoji? The idea is that pictures take the place of words. That's called hieroglyphics, and we don't use them anymore because the people who use them died, probably of confusion. <laughs> Can the witness please speak plain English? No. <laughs> wow, usually I'm the one who's not up to date on how all the cool kids communicate. At least that's what my daughter says. Yeah. Anyway, uh, time for a quick lesson, Dinah. Here's a sample emoji. And let me back this up with my authority. If you get a question wrong, you get a strike! I'd probably rage quit this trial right now if it wouldn't ruin my legal career. How would you respond if someone sent this to you as a text message? Um, car, hockey puck, happy? Uh, oh my goodness, I have no idea. Okay, car, maybe going to a hockey game, happy? <sighs> maybe a thumbs up? I, I don't know. I'm gonna respond with a thumbs up. Yes, that's right! They told you they were happy about going to the hockey game tonight, okay, so a good. thumbs up would be a good response. Well done. I get it! Kinda. So can we move on now? Or... No we cannot! I must make sure the court understands emojis before we can continue with the witness's testimony. Oh, are you gonna quiz me? Bring out the correct response to this. Okay, haircut, dress, new shoes. How would you respond? I don't even know what the aliens. No. Santa and lipstick? Shock? Money? Happy? Yeah, that one. If we're pretending these are text messages, my friend says she's going on a major makeover shopping spree. That's what I thought. I would yeah. respond with surprised, joking that it will cost a lot of money. Yay! <laughs> Perfect. See? This is way easier than talking with words. Um, yeah, but it's here, slower. I uh, made another puzzle for you. Let's see if you can figure it out. Okay. That's... Oh, dear. A cor... Uh, that looks like a, a, a Shiba Inu. Dog poop burger. Okay. Candy, candy, fruit, food, food, uh... I don't know. Um, death, bowling, ballots? I don't know, but I would do this one. They said that their cheeseburger tastes like dog poop. Oh, okay. So I sent back disgusting faces. That's a reasonable response. We should expect more from our burgers than that. Okay, now that the defense has better learned how to talk good, mm -hmm. uh, let's continue with the testimony. Yes, thank Mr. you. Mr. Okay, you are an artist, correct? Yes. Yep, yeah, okay. And you drew the tattoo in question. Mm. You kind of drew the tattoo? What does that mean? Either you drew it or you didn't. What does that mean? Ah, you drew the model that the tattoo was based on. Okay. I'm a little lost. Art palette. A gift. You're giving us the original model? Mm, thank you. Oh, I love Janie. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Mr. OK. You've been most helpful. Wonderful. Wait, 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 wait. You summoned Mr. OK to the stand just so you could get this picture added to evidence. Yes? Objection! Why didn't you do that five minutes ago? You could have saved me all the trouble of going through that stupid emoji challenge. Look, you know I love emoji, and Mr. OK is certainly a fine young fellow. 
Uh, but the defense has a point. You could have just given us that picture from the start. Um, try it. Just be more direct next time, alright? Sorry. Oh, now the judge is mad at me. I mean, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a professional lawyer, and I've got another piece of evidence. The actual tattoo! Notice how it does not match the model. Mm-hmm. I loves Katie. Mm, yeah. Hey, I tried to follow the model. I'm just not very good at art. I said that in my advertisement. She did. That's no excuse. Now, if you compare the two, you'll notice three letters are different. <sighs> Let me guess. I'm going to be voluntold to point out all three of the differences. Huh, thank you. Go right ahead. <laughs> sarcasm, but it's fine. It's only 11 letters long, no big deal. What letters in the final tattoo don't match the model? A lot. Um, I <laughs> loves Janie. Correct. What's another letter that's different? N. Correct. What's another letter that's different? Well, we're missing the S. Good. Those are the three letters that were changed. I can understand one mistake, but three? Clearly, the defendant is incompetent and should be held accountable. Which brings us back to the question of grammar. There's a grammar error in the tattoo? Where? It says, I loves Katie, not I love Katie. Uh, I don't follow. Well, if you want, we can go to the defendant's social media page and look for more examples of bad grammar there. No, we've had enough of that, thanks! Let's, <laughs> let's wrap this up. Uh, defense, yeah. do you have any explanation as to why or how your client added those three extra letters? I do! We've been looking at things all wrong. We have to turn this case around! The key to this case is... Mm, maybe the order. Uh, or the way? I don't know. There's only one way for me to win this trial. I have to lie like crazy. Mm. We assumed that the defendant wrote the letters one at a time. But what if she wrote them out of order? Like, working from the outside in. It makes sense. Nobody writes like that. It's weird. Oh, as an artist, you might. My tattoo like this. First the K, then the E, then the A, and then the I. Tell me, Your Honor, what letter would you put in the middle to finish this word? Um, I'd, I'd put a T. I mean, I know it's supposed to be an N, but Katie makes way more sense than Kaney. Exactly. That's how my client messed up on the letter N. Objection! That's a nice explanation. Not really. It's more stupid than anything else. Mm. But you overlooked the first letter of the name. How do you mess up J with K? That was an honest mistake. J and K are really similar letters. They're next to each other on the alphabet and on the computer keyboard. Mm -hmm, that's true. You understand one mistake, right? Well, one mistake accidentally led to two. But there were three mistakes. How do you explain I loves Katie? That's bad grammar, no matter how you look at it. But we've already proved that Miss Take wrote the letters in the wrong order. What if she wrote the words in the wrong order too? Like she wrote Katie first. Then Miss Take would think that the sentence is Katie loves something. That's why she wrote loves instead of love. You you can't be serious. That is ridiculous. It Nobody is. writes words in sentences like that. Yeah. Your Honor, strike this down. Please do. Mm. Defense, I have one question. Yes? What's wrong with the tattoo the way it is? I loves Katie sounds fine to me. What's the, no. what's the big deal with the S at the end of loves? Because it's a third person verb with a first person subject. Yes. Yeah. Who's this third person? Oh dear. I, uh, look, let me explain how subject verb agreement works. First, you- I agree with the judge. If everyone's so mad about the letter S in loves, why don't you just wash it off? Yeah. Space Wash paint. it off? I drew on the tattoo with a marker. It should wash off easy. A marker? It, it's not a real tattoo? Yeah, it, make, it looks Why like it. Why didn't you mention this earlier? I did. I mean, it's in the ad, right? It said NP at the end. You know, non-permanent Usually tattoo. that means no problem. I thought that meant no problem. Right? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm sorry. I made a big deal over nothing. 
forgive you, Carmack, but I'm not giving you a refund. <laughs> Aww. Heart, heart, two hearts. Shaking hands. We are in agreement. Okay. That tattoo was fake the entire time. Where does that leave us? If there's no tattoo, I guess we can't have a tattoo trial. So we got all worked up over nothing. You got worked up. Especially when I made up that bogus story about writing the wrong way. Oh, don't say that. I knew that was fake. Consider a payback for all of those grammar challenges. Okay, okay guys, we, we can chat later. Um, we gotta end this trial now. My stories are coming on in a little bit. Um, so, um, the court sentences the defendant to 60 sandwiches. I'm sorry, that was autocorrect. Uh -huh. I meant to say 60, um, 60, um, hang on. What is it? Internet court just got a zero star review on, well, people are unsubscribing from the well. channel in droves. Nobody's watching the live stream anymore. How could the squeaky frog fan person Wait, what was that name again? That was the troll from the previous case. Is there an overarching story here? Overarching story? Overarching. Okay, truth time. Why did I become a defense attorney instead of leaving internet court forever? It's not because I enjoy getting kicked around at trials. It's because I knew that someday I would run into Squeaky Frog fan again. Mm -hmm. Whoever they are, they got me banned from writing fanfiction for life. I want to know why. I want to stop this troll from harming another innocent person the way they hurt me. But I'm not their target anymore. This time, they've set their sights on something bigger. Destroying Internet Court itself. Hmm. Oh boy. You unlocked case number four and bonus materials. Okay, that, that, that case was a little less engaging. Um, I really like the grammar choices. I like that there were multiple that you could choose from. But let's go ahead and watch uh, the bonus content for case three. Yay! I messed up. I messed up. <clears throat> Did you get that? I said you got a strike. She was so mad at me, she tattered. Ta Why do I keep saying tattered? I'm giving you defense. Don't hit strike. the computer. I just made a Dorito mess. Aww. <laughs> hmm. Like, what is this? I feel like dead mouse when I do this, except this, this is not a mouse, this is just. This is me. Look out, because here I come. I don't know which one's going to be the best one, dude. Do not. Paul, friends, and I swear to God, if you put any of these in the bloopers. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> not unless you want to strike. Oh, what was that supposed to be? Uh, let me explain how subject-verb agreement works. First, you have to dance. <laughs> This whole time, we've been operating under the assumption that the letters were written. My roommate is making food. It's because I knew that someday I'd run into Squeaky Frog Flanning. That was a tongue twister? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I hope this footage is good for you. Bye! Oh man, that was entertaining. All right, we'll be on the lookout for the next video. Oh, how long has it been? It hasn't been that long, has it? Maybe we can play one more. Let's go ahead. You know what? We're going to play again. We're going to keep playing in this one. So I want to go back to main menu. Case number four. Let's do it. Ooh. Hunting for a troll. Ooh. Please don't let this be the finale. Don't end the game here. The one bad review on wealth led to dozens of others. 
Soon everyone was trashing Internet Court. People said it was dumb. A waste of time. They said it was low effort and low production values, and that it's ruining the Internet. I'd recognize that troll anywhere. It's the one that got me banned from fanfiction writing. Hey, I like a joke as much as the next guy, but this jerk is seriously cutting into our ad revenue. We've gone down from getting 0 0.021 <laughs> cents per view to 0 0.016 cents per view. And to me, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> the point is, this troll has gone out of control. And we've got to stop them. No. Matter. What? What are we doing again? <laughs> Yay! The trial of Internet Court versus Squeaky Frog Fan shall start immediately. I move that we find the defendant guilty on all counts! Objection! I... Wait, I have to defend this jerk? This is garbage! I want to quit! C can I... can I quit? Is the defendant here today? Um... No? What do you mean, no? We ran into a problem. The first witness will be able to explain. Okay, go ahead. The prosecution summons Wirt Everly to the stand. What do you want? Witness, state your full name and occupation. Name? Your mom. Occupation, babysitter. Is that good enough for you? Uh, no. 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 Tell the truth! Fine. I'm Wirt Everly, I work for Welp, and I've already told you, this is a waste of time. Why? Yeah, I can't reveal the identity of Squeaky Frog Fan. It's against company policy. We don't release any information about our reviewers in order to protect them from backlash and retribution. Like being sued by some dumb internet court, for example. It's all in the terms and conditions, take a look. Yeah, I can't read it because they're all lines. Can I click on anything? Welp. <laughs> uh, um, a pun uh, over, uh, Yelp. Oh, this thing is dozens of pages long. You gotta scroll to the right section. For instance, if you wanna see what email addresses we accept, go to chapter 5.1.1.12. If you wanna see what our logo design information is, no. go to chapter 3.14.15. See? Easy as pie. I'm already confused. Can't you just show us the right section? Yeah, please. Uh, how about... No, I've seen your streams before. Why don't you force your dumb defense lawyer to explain? That would be mean. I agree with the witness. You find the policy I'm releasing the identities of their reviewers. Yeah. Because I don't want to. <laughs> this is so not fair. Well, where should I start looking? Oh, ID, anonymous, okay. Uh, troubleshooting, the Welp app, reviewer information. I would do that. Company information, general information. I would do reviewer information. I guess we should look in reviewer information to get information about reviewers. That information is for reviewers, you idiot. Should be obvious. The manual is laid out in a very easy and intuitive manner. And how come I couldn't guess? Dude, it totally isn't. Yeah. Maybe you're just stupid. Anyway, let's keep going. Keep going? There's more? Okay, um... Oh, we're in section five, okay. Reviewer requirements, troubleshooting, guidelines, profile pictures, what to do when reviewing other reviewers, miscellaneous reviewer issues. Um... Guidelines or miscellaneous? Let's go with... Mm, both miscellaneous. Wrong, wrong, wrong. How am I supposed to know what's in these sections if I can't even read them first? Right. Ugh, I'm disappointed, Defense. I thought you usually did your prep work. Oh. Have a strike. Mm, try again. Reviewer guidelines? It's reviewer guidelines? Maybe? A lucky guess. There we go. It was one of those. Oh, dear goodness. Average review length, allowable reviewer hairstyles, how we protect reviewer identities or forbidden user activities. Let's do this one. Here, I finally got it. Can we stop looking through the user manual now? I feel sick. <sighs> Whatever. You should see how Eula. Anyway, here's the page you want. 
Okay, how we protect reviewer identities. Protecting our view- reviewers is our highest priority. Nobody wants to receive backlash for giving a negative review. For giving, for giving, typo, right? This is the internet. People should be allowed to say whatever they want without fear of repercussion. Therefore, we never give out personal information about our reviewers, i.e. name, email address, favorite TV show, to anyone who asks. Ever. It's our way of ensuring your privacy. Forbidden users' activities. There are a number of forbidden activities which will result in the revocation? I don't know that word. Uh, Of your account. Uh, Revoking? Yeah, revocation. Includes fraudulent reviews, walking with puppies without petting them and telling them how good they are. (laughs) Not inflating scores according to your inflation slider scale. See that section for more information on how to inflate your scores properly. Don't forget to take into account how much the business has paid our website for good reviews. How much the business has paid our website for good reviews. Could the person have... Or, okay, it could be it could be that and fraudulent review about... We should, we should press on this and should press on that. As you can clearly see, we never give out personal information. Ever. Wait, couldn't you have presented this page at the very beginning instead of forcing us to look through the entire manual? Well, yeah, but I wanted to make the defense work for it. That's what you get for harassing my buddy. Buddy. Your buddy? You know the person in question? Maybe, maybe not. I can't tell you. That would be releasing client information. But that troll left us a bad review. They've been hounding me for months. Plus their screen name is so dumb. You've gotta help. (laughs) Sorry. Nope. This looks like it's going nowhere. Should I step in? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, this this clearly isn't going anywhere. Uh, The witness is not breaking company policy for us. I move that we... Let them go and continue with the trial. Thank goodness, this has been a colossal waste of my time. Objection! Uh, this is my witness. I get to decide when we're through with him. Yes. No, 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 no. Can I ask him to testify about something else? Okay, rem- removing the review, improving the user manual, the review in question. Let's talk about the review in question. Okay. I know this is gonna sound stupid, but I didn't actually get a chance to read the review in question. Are you serious? I sent it to you yesterday! Yeah, and I didn't even get three words in before you sent me like a million text messages about it. This is so awful! I am so angry! Why does Squeaky Frog Fan want to ruin my life? Eh, stuff like that. Just for that, I'm downvoting your fanfics. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do that and you get a strike. We're trying to prevent bad reviews, not make more of them. Whatever. I got two versions of this review. Do you want the censored one or the uncensored one? Uncensored. Let's give it to us real. Uncensored. I'm no stranger to foul language on the internet. Here you go. No, I haven't. I haven't seen this version yet. Uh, okay. Uh, swear word. Swear word. Uh, hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Uh, hey, my <laughs> was not <laughs> strike. I strike this evidence. Um, second no. thought, let's go with the censored version. Okay. Yeah, you're a bunch of wimps. Oh my goodness, okay. This is awesome, look at this graphic. Uh, squeaky frog fan, okay. Internet court is the worst, zero out of five. Internet court is the worst website ever. That so-called defense attorney, don't stop defending, who's the biggest mm, I've ever seen, and that mm, prosecutor's super... Super. They bleeped out this word. That's his name. It's so much of a something. I bet he'd have to censor this before reading it. Huh. What? Am I too real for you? There's something real. You're real. A hippopotamus. What? <laughs> so the idea, two A's, is that they have a courtroom for internet trials, like da, 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 fan fiction, but they all da, do this quibble about that grammar, like, and it cares about that, not even the blah, blah. Judge gives a poop emoji. I want my money back even though I didn't pay a dime for one stupid I saw. Everything else about their website is garbage too. The layout, the mobile version, and the password confirmation email never got sent. I think they should. Okay, so there's some legitimate concerns in here as a reviewer. Things the company could consider for improvement. Pretty great, right? Super duper colorful. One of the best, I believe. 
Dario is nothing but a string of swear words sprinkled with disdain, anger, and a uh, uh, hippopotamus for some reason. It's hardly worth calling a review. So you don't like it? Big whoop, we're not gonna take it down. Oh really? I have evidence that shows otherwise. You do? Um, what proves the review should be taken down? Uh, Welp's terms and con conditions? Is it fraudulent? Is it... What were the three that I just read? The review. The list of new users? I didn't see that. Let's take a look at the terms and conditions. I couldn't help but notice that the next section of the manual talks about forbidden user activities. I claim that this review breaks these guidelines. Therefore, the review and the user should be deleted. <laughs> Which forbidden activity are you talking about? Ignoring puppies. <laughs> Not inflating scores? Fraudulent. Fraudulent. Here, it says that fraudulent reviews will be removed. What makes you think the review is fraudulent? Squeaky Frog fan has been after me for a while. They dislike everything I do. They only rate an internet court low because I'm in it. Isn't that fraudulent? Do you need me to define the word fraudulent for you? The review would only be fraudulent if the reviewer had never watched one of your dumb streams before. Well, maybe they didn't. Oh, gee, now you're making things up as you go along. Where's your proof? My, my proof? <laughs> your proof that the reviewer has never seen an internet court case before. Uh, yes, my, my proof. It's... Okay, I want my money back even though I didn't pay a single dime, so there's that. Uh, is it a website or is it a stream? Uh, which would be correct? I would say it's something to do with the money here. It's, or is it a website issue? I don't want to fail, but I don't really know. I'm gonna go with this one. They said that they never got the password confirmation email. Oh. So that means they weren't able to log into our website, right? So they weren't able to watch any trials. Maybe they logged in as a guest. Or they were using free trial mode. I could get it free trial because this is internet court. Pun. Yeah. We get it, loser. This is why you get a zero out of 10 rating. Uh, wait, wait, this could be the break we need. Can, can we get a list of newly registered users? What do you need that for? <sighs> We could use that to ID the culprit. I really have to use the bathroom. <laughs> Judge, the list? Right, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, three, three new users in the week before the review was posted. Here's the list. <gasps> Progress. I like cats. Johnny Five is alive. Perfect Ten Law. Oh, interesting. I like this. this is a notepad. Um, <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, uh, which one would it be? I like cats or perfect ten law? Hmm. Which one of these is most likely to be the troll? Mm, I want to say it's this, but it could be I like cats. I don't know. Perfect 10 Law. That's a suspicious name. It sounds like a competing legal service. Hmm. Uh, according to their profile, they, they love legal thrillers, courtroom dramas, and their training to become a lawyer. Also, uh, they... What is it? Yeah, uh, they didn't get to the part of the registration process where we sent <gasps> them the confirmation email. It couldn't be them. Oh, oh gee. A waste of time. I'm so Nuts. surprised. Can we give this dumb attorney a strike for wasting our time? Yes. Strike. Oh. I hate this trial. Okay, it's I like cats. Okay, this is kind of a long shot, but Squeaky Frog fan mentions an animal in their screen name, just like this person. Could they be the same person? Uh, yeah, they might be. Let's see. Um... Yeah, okay. The computer says that the password confirmation email we tried to send them was rejected. Back to us. Uh, also, uh, their password uh, is a very, very, very bad word that nobody should say. 
and your name, Dina. Perfect, that's it. So it's, yeah, it's got to be the same person. Why does this troll hate me so much? Okay, uh, give me a second. Um, maybe we can figure out how they found our site. Uh, let's see if I just reference this the database of referral links, checking the timestamp, IP address. Um, and... hmm. Aha! I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I found the address the troll allegedly came from, and my computer is saying it's been blocked due to... Hold it right there! These message boards have been cordoned off by the grandma police! Uh-oh. Oh-ho! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I remember you, Mr. I don't know the difference between it's and it's. What's wrong? Do you have more crimes you'd like to confess to? Man, I want well, to donate now. Give me a break. You saw that it was my daughter who wrote that fan fiction, not me. Then maybe you deserve a fine for not teaching your daughter proper grammar and spelling. Not another one, please. So why did this repeat offender call me back to internet court? Do you need more testimony against him? Actually, I'm a prosecutor now, a uh, super lawyer, and I need access to these message boards. Please? I told you, these message boards are under our protection. If you'd like to apply for access, I happen to have some grammar puzzles that you could solve to prove that you- No! No more grammar puzzles! I'll take it. Your Honor, help? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid, uh, the grammar police are outside of my jurisdiction, uh, my jurisprudence, my jurat pro juro, uh, and those are real legal terms, and not something I just made up because I don't understand grammar. Uh, well, Are you the judge who puts adjectives in the wrong order? Remember, count comes before color. Not the other way around. <laughs> I move we dismiss the witness. No, I haven't figured out a way to get to the message boards yet. And you're not going to. We simply cannot allow grandma fiends into this sacred space of communication. Hmm, what if I said that a grammar fiend already went through? Hey, mm -hmm. first of all, I'd cite you for excessive use of ellipses, <laughs> and then I tell you that's preposterous. No, it's not. Your sacred space has been violated, officer, and I can prove it. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it's in the negative review. Here. We have a clear grammar violation from one of your forum users. Grammar violation? Where? <laughs> okay, where did it go? Uh... Oh, I, I saw it. Okay, right here. Idea is not spelled correctly. Hmm... Probably a typo. But I can see why you'd be upset with this review. You say the person who wrote this came from these message boards. Yes. Specifically, they came from this thread. Okay, you've proven that this warrants further investigation. I'll let you in. Besides, it's not much of a thread. Yay! I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Ugh, your honor, leave the dad jokes to me. Oh, oh, look at this. <gasps> Amazing Alan, Internet Court. Have you seen the Internet Court website? You know who I am. Amazing Alan. Hollywood, baby. Number two, Tigers fan 03. No. The Tigers rule. They're going to win all their games. Oh, this is their signature. Okay. Go, Tigers. Go, Tigers. Tigers fan 03. The cheap seats. Okay. I like cats. There it is. Yep. Yeah. LOL. Location unknown. But they posted like 42,836 times. So if they only became a member just the last week, I doubt that they could have written that much. And that goes against the uh, post-inflation count in their terms. Th that, that's it? That's your amazing evidence, prosecution? I'm disappointed. Yeah, this isn't much to go on. Shoot. Uh, hey, so this is weird. Uh, if I try searching the forum 
for the troll's username. Uh, all I get is an error page saying that they've never posted anything. What do you mean I Love Cats hasn't posted on this site? Are you crazy, man? They posted in this thread. It says LOL right there. Although it should be capitalized since it's at the start of a sentence. I agree. Yeah, um, I'm telling you, there's no such user registered on these message boards. It's like it's a ghost account or something. Well, it's not my fault if your computer isn't working. But since it's not working anyway, let me cut off your access to- Objection! Give us more time to examine this! Maybe you typed it in wrong, Your Honor? No. I tried I love cats with and without underscores. It's not working. Hmm. LOL, I love cats. LOL, I love- <gasps> I got it! I got it! I, I can explain what happened. The troll used a phishing trick. You know what phishing scams are, right? Uh, yeah, that's like when someone tricks me into giving them my social security number, right? Uh, what's, uh, what's the relevance here? Phishing websites try to look like legitimate sites. That's what we've got here. You're saying that this site is a phony? No, I'm saying they're using a phishing trick to fool us with a fake username. We saw something like this on an earlier piece of evidence. Which evidence? The phishing trip. Uh... <laughs> Officer Redpen's donut. Uh, Welp's terms and conditions, the list of new users, fishing trick. It's probably in the terms and- oh yeah, it's in this. Here, this is the evidence we need. You idiot. That evidence doesn't have any usernames on it. Mm -hmm. Super lawyer, more like pooper lawyer. Really, Dinah? I'm sorry, I'm getting tired. Mm -hmm. Here's a strike for the pooper lawyer. Oh, nuts. Now try again. Ugh, I hate strikes. Mm-hmm. Okay, the list of new users. Specifically, the username with the trick is... Mm, well. Oh, I can choose now. It looks like an L. L like cats. This one, I like cats, is the same trick as I like cats. So it uses the same trick as itself. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, I guess I must have missed oh, come on. Or something. Uh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, sounds like you deserve a strike for that. No, I meant, uh, <clears throat> I meant the username with the trick is... Mm, I do not know. I really don't know. I'm gonna fail this. Uh... Perfect 10 law? See here, I it's perfect know. 10 law. 10 should be the numbers 1 and 0, but instead of a 0, they used an uppercase letter oh. O. Right, the 0 and the O look similar. Uh, that's the trick being used on the message boards? Exactly! It's not I like cats, it's L Thank like cats! Thank you, that's cats. what I meant. <laughs> that works. Uh, I'm accessing their profile from message boards. It's got links to their email address, website, social media, and... And yeah, they use the uh, same chat program that we use. Quick, bring them into the call. We have to learn the truth. Adding them as a contact. <gasps> no, no, I don't want to provide feedback on my call quality right now. <laughs> no, don't update. What are you doing? <laughs> We're in the middle of a call right now. Stupid piece of... Okay, all right. Adding them to the call. Who is it? Huh? Um, uh, there's nobody there. Maybe I can make the window bigger? Not your viewpoint, though. Ha ha ha! So, you idiots finally found me. What? It's a baby? No freaking way! You know, I think that's just someone pretending to be a baby. I'm not pretending. I'm the one who uses the message boards in this house. Goo! It's clearly not the baby talking. Her lips aren't even moving. I'm a ventriloquist. Rosie. And let me tell you, it's super hard to project your voice when you don't have all your teeth yet. No. Another uncooperative witness. Should I... Uh, let her continue. Okay, we'll play along. For now. Play? 
I love playing. Let's play peekaboo. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The only ridiculous thing here is you summoning me to court. I'm just a baby. I can't testify. Why don't you show your real face instead of hiding behind some adorable baby? Yeah. I, I want to keep my real identity hidden. Is that too much to ask? Well, it's, it's fair. highly unusual. Hey, it's better than showing a blank wall, right? Besides, I have a good reason for protecting my identity. You're a villainous scoundrel who sabotaged our website with a phony review? Who, me? No, I'm a victim, just like you. I'm trying to hide from Squeaky Frog Fan. What? That is impossible. Honest, it's all a misunderstanding. Maybe. Let me state my feelings on the matter before I question the witness. You what? Why are you going to question the suspect? Yeah, that's our job. But defense got the first witness, prosecution got the second. Doesn't that mean I get the third? Not really. This is a serious trial, not a game. We're not taking turns here. But I wanted to be the one to question the testimony for once. Aww. Fine. Like I said, I'm trying to protect myself from the same troll who attacked you. I first met Squeaky Frog Fan on these message boards. I thought he was a funny person. But then he found out which political party I belong to. Which one? The wrong one, apparently. Squeaky Frog Fan went ballistic. Cheerios. He mm. spammed all the threads I was a part of, downvoted my posts, even hacked my account at one point. That's why I set up a new account with a similar name. Yes, that gave us quite a bit of trouble. I'm sorry for that. I just want to be safe. That troll has ruined my internet life. You guys are internet court, right? Why don't you arrest him? We have to find him first. And the trail led directly to you, I might add. Yeah, see? He must be trying to frame me. Gotta be. So any evidence you have that points to me is automatically invalid. It's all fake. So you're going to dismiss all of our evidence? I can't prove guilt without evidence. Uh, on the other hand, I can't prove innocence either. Aw, oh, gee. So the trial can't go forward? Too bad. I was hoping you'd catch that troll. Oh well, better luck next time. Oh, she's so cute. Is it really true that all of our evidence is inadmissible? Surely we have some evidence that we know for certain came from the troll. Yeah, so the... It's in the terms of conditions, I suppose. That's uh, on the post, the forum post. No, that's wrong. I, I give myself a strike for oh. being wrong. Oh no, a strike. Oh, <laughs> Ugh, that doesn't feel good at all. I can... I can see why the lawyers hate it so much. Aww. Um, what evidence irrefutably came from the troll? Well, it would probably be his negative review. Objection! We have evidence that we definitely know comes from the troll. It's it's the review. Look. Ah, oh, you idiot! You just ruined it. Uh, uh huh? We were going to use that to prove the witness was really the troll. We were? Yeah, we were trying to trick her into revealing she knows information that only the troll would know. Um... Oh, sorry. Next time you make your, your sneaky plans, uh, make sure you CC me in on them. So now what? I'm afraid the law is clear on this point. No evidence, no conviction. Um, unless we've got circumstantial evidence. You don't have means, motive, or opportunity. I told you, I'm a victim. <laughs> Lawyers are bound by evidence laws. But I'm not a lawyer. Mm. Maybe I can help after all. What can I do as a judge that the lawyers can't? Well, you can give strikes. Request testimony. View historical cases. I don't know. How? Oh, how can you save the case? That's the question. Let's do this. I request testimony from the witness. I just testified about the troll. What more do you want? 
There's still one thing I need to know. Who's a fruity baby? Who's a fruity baby? Your Honor, the troll isn't really a baby. It isn't? Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course it isn't. Uh, yeah. I'm not fooling anyone, am I? Nope. No. Can't fool me. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. Okay, I give myself a strike for my stupid Nuts. outburst. Where were we? Uh, okay, so it wasn't... Uh, let's view historical cases, I suppose. Of course, I can view historical cases, like the one uh, I checked out the other day. Uh, okay. Which one would be helpful right now? Uh, the contrived cliffhanger trial, the bad tattoo trial, the grammar police versus good always wins case. Uh, maybe that one because it mentions it in the review. Everyone, I would like to put this trial on hold for an hour so I can watch this old case video. Uh, no. Yeah, I can't wait that long. I've got things to do. I'll get the summary instead. Okay, Grammar Police versus Good Always Wins. Great. Uh, prosecution, Madeleine Brent. Defense, Potato Esquire. <laughs> Judge J. J. Hodgman. Good Always Wins sued for multiple grammar violations in their fan fiction, including incorrect hypotheticals, split infinitives, and cheesy storylines. Testimony from Grammar Police Officer Strunk. Okay. Uh, Good Always Wins claimed that she was being framed and or fished by a troll known as Squeaky Frog Fan, but the defense was unable to produce said troll. Defendant was found guilty on all counts and served a lifetime ban. Okay. Objection! I have new evidence! Uh, here's a case summary of the first trial that involved Squeaky Frog Fan. Ugh, please don't show that case to everyone. It makes me look bad. Ha! <laughs> Split infinitives? What's the matter? Don't know how to write correctly? wasn't me! It was the troll pretending to be me! That was the first time you used your stupid fishing tricks! You got it wrong! I wasn't even born then! You... Look, I appreciate the evidence, Your Honor, but how does this help us prove the troll's identity? It says the defense never even found them. Yeah, uh, it proves that the troll... It proves that they love good grammar. They love fan fiction. I'm going with grammar. There's there's literally billions of ways that the troll could have tried to sabotage Don't Stop Defending's reputation online. And they went with bad grammar. So the troll's a grammar freak. You mean we can lure the troll out of hiding? By baiting them with someone who's bad at grammar. Him. Silence is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> this plan won't work. I'm not going to fall for it. Because I'm not the troll. Quick, Your Honor, use some conditionals. <laughs> yeah, the defense and me can't make it seem realistic. <laughs> the defense and I. What's a conditional? Is that a medical issue? It... Um, it, it'd be a statement with an if. It is. It is. Is a statement. Mm -hmm. I get it. If you was trying to get the troll to, uh, if you were trying, if you were trying to get the troll to should be have been revealed, you would have been setting bad grammar. <laughs> you are all going to prison. <laughs> Whom are you? I like cats. Whom are you? That's not how he works. Yes, we has them on the ropes you know what to now do the <laughs> one thing i never understood in school why can't i use it's is i t s apostrophe it's is making sense to me oh well he didn't confess okay you got me i'm squeaky frog fan I faked those fanfics and wrote that mean review. I was trying to get revenge on Don't Stop Defending. But why? Why do you hate me so much? You don't recognize me? No. How about now? <gasps> Jennifer? 
My old babysitter? Yes, it's me. The girl whose life you ruined. I... What? How did I ruin your life? Remember the time you made me play soccer with you and I broke my ankle? Uh, didn't that happen when I was six? Yes. Thanks to you, I was on crutches for a month. I had to miss my dance recital. We were going to nationals. No. I was six. I didn't do it on purpose. So what? After that, my ankle never healed right. I was kicked out of dance class because I kept tripping all over myself. I still don't have feeling in all my toes. All I ever wanted to do was be a backup dancer for Joey Joey and the Good Good Boys, and you ruined it! Mm. When I saw your name pop up, when I was searching for Joey's flash fiction, I knew. I knew I had to do something. You know that band broke up eight years ago? I was so furious! So I got you banned from writing fanfics forever. And then I rejoiced when I heard you were banned from prosecuting forever. Every good thing was being taken away from you. I loved it. Mm. But you kept trying to lawyer your way to happiness. So I wrote that bad review to get your dumb website shut down. And when that still didn't work, I got my friend Wirt to take the stand and get you banned from internet court entirely. Is that a confession? I'm gonna take that as a confession. That's a confession. Wow, Jennifer, I can't believe this. I haven't seen you in years. To be honest, I almost forgot you existed. And that's why I hate you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I think it's safe to say that the trial is over. And it's time for me to render my verdict. The court finds the witness, Jennifer, uh, whatever her last name is, guilty of trolling, fishing, cyberbullying the defense, and of letting a baby use technology that's way too complicated for it. I give you a lifetime ban from internet court and order you to stay at least three firewalls away from don't stop defending at all times. Am I clear? Yes, your honor. I'm sorry for causing problems. You weren't my intended victim. I... I'll go and remove that bad review right now. You do that! But Dinah, this isn't over. I may be blocked from you in the cyber world, but in the flesh world, you're mine. You hear me? I... Oh, shoot! The baby's crying! Gotta go! Bye, everyone! Goodbye. That's the AOL goodbye. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe it. The trial's over, and we caught the troll. Yay. Does this mean that I can write fanfiction again? You could probably go back to being a prosecutor, too. Hmm. It's like your entire life has been restored. Yeah, I'll get the paperwork to reinstate you filed immediately. Thanks, Your Honor. I couldn't have done it without your help. You really were the hero after all. Yay! <laughs> hey, I was a big help, too. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have gotten past the grammar police. Job well done, everyone. Now let's um, write up the case notes and file the paperwork. Oh, sorry. I, I have a thing to go to in, like, an hour. Yeah, I skipped lunch for this. I'll, I'll get to it later. Aww. But my night is blocked off. Uh, I've got 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Oh, wait, wait. What is that in my time zone? <laughs> oh, weekday nights aren't going to work for me this week. Not unless we try really late. Okay, whatever. Just finish as much paperwork as you can and email it to me uh, as soon as possible. Oh God, you think after nine months we would have this figured out by now? <laughs> hmm. Don't tell me that's it. Is there more? It's not easy being a defense attorney in internet court, but is it worth it? Yeah, absolutely. I still don't understand grammar, but I'm glad I was able to help. Not, not even just help. I, I was the hero. <sighs> Maybe someday I can be a real judge in a real courtroom, after all. Can you believe my husband spent $300 on this ridiculous t-shirt? <laughs> now he's trying to arrange some meetup with people on the internet. It, it's ridiculous. I, I had to put my foot down. I told him, no burgers in the house for a month. I'm sure he'll get over it eventually. 
I still can't believe Jennifer tried to ruin my life over a little accident that happened years ago. That was a total shock. Still, I'm glad it's over now and I can get my life back to normal. After all, good always wins. What will the future bring? Uh, overuse of GIFs, hacked email accounts, fake news articles that my weird uncle keeps sharing online. <laughs> yeah, I don't know I get what's it. next, but I do know this. Internet court will be there, dispensing justice with a smiley face. <laughs> Cute. Oh gosh. Was that it? Was that really it? Internet court! By, oh, a rock studios. Oh, we got credits! Written by Michael Gray, Argle Thump. Programmed and produced by Paul Franzen. Cast. Oh, nice. Her name is Diana Gray. I didn't know. Oh, okay. Is she related to Michael? Mr. <laughs> Rosie. Aww. Oh, look at the little, I like the little film art. Or, what do you call it? You know, it's what? I like the art. Okay, this is great. mixter.org. Okay, I'll look that up. Soundcloud.com. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sound effects. Digital art. I'm trying to read this as best as I can. ASCII credits. Special thanks to Zoom, which didn't exist when we started making this game and probably would have made things a lot easier. The Phoenix Wright developers, all the actors who probably forgot that they're in this game. Jetty for reminding me about Mid is. This is I, I missed ah, the scrolling. Look at the mouse. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I saw that coke thing. That was funny. Yay! It's over so soon. Okay, I honestly think... I think my favorite episode was really the first one because of the uh comparing social media uh timelines or feeds uh i really i really liked that you unlocked bonus materials yay what do we have let's go to the bonus materials oh <gasps> okay here's the so behind the scenes audition tapes the great emu war okay let's look at the outtakes first did we watch that i think we watched. no 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 no, 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 no. All right, that should warm my voice up. This is a long video, you guys. Focus. Focus. Strike. Oops. Strike. I don't reveal information except in some circumstances. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just with the blah, 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 blah. Objection. This is my... Mate, I got a good way of dealing with this internet court right here, and if you know be quiet, you'll get a taste of these. If you'd like to apply for access, I happen to have a few grammar puzzles that you could solve to prove that you're not a robot. Which one's a house? I happen <laughs> to have some grammar puzzles here that you could solve to prove that you're not a fucking robot, you fucking moronic robot, ticking a robot, talking some bull Skynet shit. I'm out. He's the troll. You get us right now. You get us right now. You get us right now. You. Oh, oh, 
Okay, I may need to go back and re-record that line. My bad. Ow. Dina's tired. Or Dinah. It's probably supposed to be Dinah, but I keep reading her name as Dina and I don't know why. <laughs> Aww. 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 There's a nail in the wall behind I you. I those fanfics. And you ruined it! What? <laughs> you can't laugh during the line, Mary. <laughs> you need to be silent. <laughs> so what? After that, my ankle never healed. <laughs> so what? After that, my ankle never healed right. I forgot the line. <laughs> So, okay, go face the wall again. <laughs> you know, I remember saying there's a nail in the wall by Kelly. Okay, this is actually just like a bird. I found the end of the tape. This court finds the witness guilty. No, nope. God, why did you write more than two lines for me? <laughs> ah! Closet. Awesome. Behind the scenes. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. This is our recording space. That's my desk chair. And you spin, and you spin, and you see a bunch of random stuff. Go. My name is She's Rose. so much bigger. My name is 6 17. Can you tell them how old you are? I'm Rosie. How old are you? I'm Sissy. Can you tell us about your life as a mini actor? I'm Minnie and Mickey. Minnie and Mickey. Minnie and Mickey? Are you going to tell me some more about yourself? Rosie. Rosie, yes. Here, pretend to be Mama. Hey, Mama, Mama, Mama. <laughs> Can I put sunglasses? Those are called actual glasses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me? Rosie, come here. Thank you for a brief interview with the cast members. Say goodbye to Rosie Gray. Bye, Rosie Gray. Aww. That's so cute. Um, audition tapes. The Great Emu War. What? Let's go to audition tapes next. Okay. This is my audition tape for Officer Graham R. Redpen. I have sworn to protect the public from Mary Sue's tired tropes and poor grammar. It is my duty to make the world a better place. I have sworn to protect the public from Mary Sue's tired tropes and bad grammar. It is my duty to make the world a better place. <laughs> I have sworn to protect the public from Mary Sue's tired tropes and poor grammar. It is my duty to make the world a better place. All right, thanks for watching. Hope that was half decent. Uh, it's a lot scarier than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, absolutely no one in my room at all. It's hard uh, to yeah, get the thanks. feedback, right? Good luck choosing all the characters and have a good one. I like your whiteboard in the back, your chalkboard. Are you crazy? That ain't it. No, judge, give this moron a strike. I have sworn to protect the public from Mary Sue's tired tropes and poor grammar. It is my duty to make the world a better place. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. I went to her for a tattoo and she spelled it wrong. I read that fanfic and the bagels were clearly a metaphor for the author's tortured soul. <laughs> Officer Graham R. Redpen, I have sworn to protect the public from Mary Sue's tired tropes and poor grammar. It is my duty to make the world a better place. It was an open and shut case, Your Honor. Classic 212. I know, I want Improper donuts now. apostrophe placement. The plaintiff here wrote in his Facebook invite that we're all getting together at Susie's house. But there wasn't a single apostrophe over we're. So it was were. Are you getting together at Susie's house or did you already do it, numbskull?
That's a dangling participle, Your Honor. He should be dangling from a noose. Well, you see, Your Honor, <laughs> I knew something was wrong with the plaintiff right away. Right away. The second he sent that Snapchat saying that Susie was coming too. Yeah. Only one O. Where's Susie going? Because unless she's going along with you, we don't know where she's going. Mm -hmm. Where's Susie? Think that's funny? Hmm? Do ya? I knew a guy once. Tough guy. Like you. He literally couldn't get out of bed either. Because he was dead. <laughs> wow. Okay, last one. The Great Emu War. What is this? I'm going to do a quick warm-up for my voice. And a tiny little history lesson. Mostly true. Mostly. The year, 1932. The case, emus. The following is a tiny little bit from a court case. The judge orders Douglas Everly to the stand. Yeah, what do you want, mate? You know why you're here. You're a witness. In fact, you're a fighter. A soldier in the Great Emu War of 1932. Is this not incorrect? That is... That is not incorrect, sir. Good, good, good. So, Douglas Everly, what happened in those final moments on the battlefield? Well, as you know, we were undergoing a pest wildlife management program. Uh, trying to take out all the emus that were roaming, <clears throat> roaming the towns, destroying stuff, roaming the roaming the plains, you know, stealing stuff. And uh, we had some issues. We didn't win the war against the emus. Um, <clears throat> true story. It's actually happened. We didn't win the war against the emus, but I um, <clears throat> I'm glad glad to see the leader of the pack being trialed here today. Yeah, but <clears throat> what did you experience? <clears throat> yeah, well, mate, I um, I experienced a. Uh, Tell him through the heart. Luckily, I was born with two hearts. Uh, rare condition. <clears throat> All the Everlies are born with it. So, I I survived, but oh, it was painful. A tell him through the heart. Was this over here the perpetrator? <clears throat> uh, judge, d doesn't the um <clears throat> the like lawyer on the uh, against I, I don't know much about courts. Doesn't the lawyer guy isn't he supposed to ask questions? Shut up. This is a <laughs> This, this is a dumb role play to warm up my voice. <clears throat> oh, okay, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I got a talent through the heart. Um, yeah, it was, it was that Amy, the head of the pack. He also poked me in the eye with his beak and then demanded a bag of grains. <clears throat> a bag of grains? What are you saying? <clears throat> he wanted a bag of grains from my hand. All the kids at the zoos feed them little bags of grains and they bite their hands off, they at least attempt to... Um, Ow. but they've never fought in the EMU war. <clears throat> they, even machine guns won't stop them. They just catch them, catch them in their little yeah, beak things, and they check, catch the bullets in the air and chuck them on the ground. So how did you defeat them? <clears throat> well, Judge, we didn't. Uh, we lost. We captured the leader, but that's it. Oh, good to hear. All right. Um, no jury, so I find the... Emu guilty uh, mass hysteria and murder. Um, oh my gosh, that went on too long. Um, <laughs> that's sort of a true story. The court case didn't happen. The emu was not captured, but there was a um, emu war. Great emu war of 1932. Look it up on Wikipedia. Okay. Weird. Oh. Very weird. I just might do that. Return to main menu. <gasps> Oh my goodness. I think that was it. I think I just solved all four cases in internet court. Well, thanks for watching and making it all the way to the end of this video. Um, if you want to support the indie game developers, oh, Rock Studios, uh, you can buy the, this game or any of their other games on Steam. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next videos.